Arttoberfest is for the entire art and design department. Each program has their own booth where the students are selling their own creations, designs, and artwork. We've got a lot of t-shirts, we've got stickers, we're doing caricatures at the animation, film, and photo booth. Some of the others, graphic design is doing the spray paint graffiti wall. The printmakers are doing the road roller giant prints on the sidewalk. We've got the chalk going on, which is really cool. So each department just brings out their specialty. So Studio Art and Ceramics Club, you can actually go and throw clay over there. So we're doing our annual iron pour for our Toberfest. What we have here is a cupola furnace that is that stack in the background here. And you can see every about seven minutes, a plug and a funnel at the bottom of the furnace and I'm breaking that open and about a hundred pounds of iron is coming out of the furnace and we're catching it with what are called ladles uh, and transferring the iron from the cupola to the bowl to pouring all of these sand molds out here that we have that students have made over the course of the last month or so. So today we'll probably pour around 2,000-3,000 pounds of iron and transform those bathtubs and radiators and sinks into permanent sculpture that will last generations, you know, we're creating something that has a complete permanence on this planet. You know, probably I'll probably outlive my children, my children's children, my children's children's children. Oktoberfest initially was designed um, for community outreach, to let the high schools come out and to show people um, kind of what the art department does. But as we've grown and as the university's grown, it's turned into a whole other event where it becomes a really big fundraiser for all the clubs. And so all the clubs try to do different things and then uh, like the graffiti wall, making sure it's selling stuff with there. And the fact that they have these opportunities where we put the students at the forefront and they sell all of their work. This is about the students. The money goes back to the clubs, which they can then use for field trips, professional development, or if they want to bring a guest artist or speaker onto campus to demonstrate for any other programs or bring someone into the gallery. So this is really all about the students. Well, what's something you enjoy about one of these booths? What's, what's, what's your favorite? I think he likes the printmaking booth, <laughs> and he might consider the paint booth, uh, as long as he doesn't get paint on it. I think October is important to CMU for the program and everyone else in the students just because not a lot of people on campus know what we do and they don't get uh, the opportunity to see everything that we do every day. So it just brings people in just to let them know more about the program and everything that we do day to day. I got at least 20 to 25 percent of my majors didn't start as a graphic design student. And I think the more that we can expose early on, people can come here and take a major quicker. And they just don't know that they want to do it yet until they start talking to people what gra what's graphic design or what is sculpting or what is you know, whatever it is. You have that conversation with somebody and it piques some interest. Um, a lot of kids don't know what they're doing when they come to school as far as which direction they're going. They think they do and they change their mind the first month or two. So if we let them know we're here, at least we're on part of the conversation. There's a real advantage to studying subjects outside of your, your focused program because um, if you're interested in, say, animation, but you're still taking courses on graphic design or uh, sculpture, that opens up to new ways, new ways of thinking, new ways of approaching your art, and new ways of, of tapping into your own creativity that will um, absolutely benefit you in your own field of study. So I think there's a great advantage to having this broad base while still focusing on what's most interesting to you. The CMU Art and Design program stands out from my experience, because I teach in animation, film, and photography, we teach all three of those to the students so that you get to collaborate with animators and filmmakers and photographers because it's also relevant today. Um, I think it's important for us to have this program because art matters just as much as science. I think it's just it's equally important and it should be given the exact same opportunity as every other kind of subject. Go make something beautiful over there. <laughs> 
I haven't done a very good job of putting these questions in context. I apologize for whoever's editing us.